Mr. Wright here. Thank you very much to the person who asked me to tackle this question, and I'm going to tackle it now. In the meantime, if you've got a question you would like me to tackle, then you can leave it in the comments of this film, or you can email me a, a snip of the question or a photo of your diagrams or your version of the question. I'll put my email address in the description of this film. Right, now, it seems to me that the trick with this question, first of all, is to draw yourself a diagram. If in doubt, sketch it out. Now, I'm told, first of all, that the bearing of B from A is 0, 6, 7. So, this is the bearing of B from A. You just need to approach these questions quite carefully and steadily. So, from A. So, here's A. Okay, let me draw myself a north line here. Okay, so there's my north line. So the bearing of B from A, right. Now, of course, I don't need, nor would I be expected to draw it accurately. It's 6, 0, 6, 7, so it's going to be about here, isn't it? Okay, so I'm going to label that 67. And here is B. Right, next piece of information is that, do this in black ink, the bearing of C from B. Right, I'll draw myself a north line again. The bearing of B, of C from B. Right, there's my north line, is 129. Right, okay, so, right. So that's 90, 129, slightly less than halfway, slightly less than 135, right? So let's put it here. So that can be my point C. And that angle there is 129. Now AB is 8.4 and BC is 9.2. What is the bearing of A from C? Now, what is the bearing of A from C? Well, let's draw the line CA, because that's the line we want to find the bearing of. So we want to find the bearing of A from C. So we want to find this bearing here, the bearing of A from C. So we want to find that, right? Okay, good. Right, now we've drawn out the diagram, we can have a go. Well, the first thing that I notice is that this angle here is allied to the 129. They're both going to add up to 180, aren't they? So 180 minus 129 gives me 51 here. So now I'm just being asked to find this red angle here and then I could subtract the red angle and the 51 from 360. So how am I going to find that red angle? Well, I'm looking at a triangle here, this triangle. Okay, so what can I find out about that triangle? Well, this angle here at B is allied to the 67. So 180 minus 67 is 113. I better label that B again, otherwise I forget that that's B. So that means that I can find this top angle here. 360 minus 113 minus 129. Aha, uh -huh, that's 118. Okay, so I'm looking at a triangle that looks like this. It has A, try again, it has A to B, and then B to C, and then complete with that, I've got, I've got A, B, that angle is 118, I've got C, I've got 9.2 and 8.4, right, 
Now what I really want to find is this target, is this angle here at C. Now how can I do that? Well, I'm wondering if I can use the, the sine rule, but I haven't got a pair, look. Okay, I haven't got a pair, a side with an angle, which is annoying because if I did, then I could use the sine rule because I have got the 8.4 and I want to find the angle C, so I've got that pair. But I'm thinking, can I find that length? Can I find the length AC? Well, of course, the answer is you can, and you can find it using the cosine rule. So, in this case, it's going to be b squared equals a squared plus c squared minus 2ac cos b. So, b squared is going to be... Right... 9.2 squared plus 8.4 squared minus 2 multiplied by 9.2 multiplied by 8.4 multiplied by cos 118. Okay, a bit of calculator action now. Minus 2 times 9.2 times 8.4 times cos 118. So that gives me a b squared of 227.7. Keep the whole number on my calculator, of course, and square root it to give me b. Square root answer equals. So I get a b of, of 16, sorry, 15.09177. Okay. Now, here we go, 15.1. Now I can use the sine rule to find the angle C, because C over 8.4, sorry, sine C over 8.4, will equal sine 118 over 15.1. I'm going to keep that whole number in my calculator. Sine C equals 8.4 multiplied by sine 118 divided by 15.1. Right, so keeping that whole number on my calculator, I'm going to work out 8.4 multiplied by sine 118 over 51. So that gives me sine C equals 0 0.49. Again, keeping the whole number on my calculator, I'm going to inverse sine that to tell me that the angle C is 29.44 to two decimal places. So now I'm in a position to find the bearing because if I look back at this diagram, this red angle here, is 29.4, which means that the bearing will be, that's this angle here, measured from the north, will be 360 minus my angle, which I've just found, minus 51. Gives me a bearing of 279.564 and so on. Now I'm not sure what degree of accuracy I'm going to be asked to put the answer to, but if it was three significant figures, it would be 280. And if it was, well, you can round it yourself. Okay, but remember, when you're doing exam questions, it is always the case that you might lose a mark if you round incorrectly or you don't do the rounding they say but it is the case that sometimes you will not lose that mark it all depends on the mark scheme and whether or not the examiners have decided to give a mark for the correct rounding for that particular question okay i hope you found that useful please 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 let me know in the comments email me a question if you'd like me to tackle it or leave me the question in the comments Thanks for watching. See you in the next film.